all right what's up youtube uh today i'm going to uh change out the uh rear brakes disc on my uh 05 uh yamaha v max and um i've been working on this uh with all the upgrade you know uh exhaust uh tire um you can see here the um the wrap bar uh oil chain uh, air filter uh sing the car you know i've been working on this since i got it you know i just love this bike so much man uh it haven't let me down yet um i mean everywhere i go people always you know uh, ask me what it is you know look at it you know uh talk about it and uh today uh i'm going to uh change out the the rear brakes with the pad and here's the the part number on the pads that you can see and i got the rear disc right here i don't know if that the part number so um let's get this started so um i'm gonna put it put it on the kick uh the center stand then i'm gonna put it in gear I'm gonna lose these nut out. The three, the other three on top, the six total. So uh, that way I got them loose. I'm I'm not gonna take them all out. I'm just gonna, you know, get it loose. But that way I don't have to fight with it, you know, uh, later on. So um, and then uh, I'm gonna have to uh, disconnect this, and then the the brake line down here. Then I'm gonna strap it up, and then uh, I hate taking this wheel off, guys. Uh, it's pain in the butt. Hi. Right. Next, I'm gonna have to uh, disconnect this, this, and this. All right, next I'm gonna have to remove this uh, with uh, 27 milli millimeter. All right, next I'm gonna have to uh, remove this nut right here that uh, holding uh, the, the shaft. Alright, next, uh, I don't want to take the wheel off unless I have to. So basically, I'm just gonna uh, slide this in, and that what it does is it just act like the uh, the the nut that you have right here, and just holding the wheel in place.
as you see I already pulled this out and the wheel still on there so uh, next step is to remove all these uh, six nut that holding the disc then we're gonna just we're just gonna slide the, the new one in all right next step you want to make sure uh, the new one and the old one are the exact uh, side so uh, I'm just gonna you know eyeball it you know like in here that's good the outside is good and then all the nut is you know fit right there um, you know it's like um, OEM all right uh, let's just uh, put the disc on and uh, put everything back together Uh, before you put the the new disc on, make sure you uh, you clean it. Um, right now I'm running out. Uh, I don't have any more uh, brake cleaner, so I'm just gonna clean it with you know uh, uh, Hercules hand cleaning. I'm just gonna clean it with that for now. Just trying to get the oil out. So that way it doesn't get on the on your uh, uh, brake pads. Uh, before you put the ball back on, um, I would recommend you to put the uh, thread locker, you know, on the bow. So that way the ball doesn't come off uh, when you're riding. Alright guys, before you tie them in, make sure you follow the order. Let's say this one, and then second one, and then third one, fourth, next, next, okay? That's how you're supposed to tie it in. So that way, it will all even out. Alright, as you can see here, I already, uh, um disconnect the um the, the rear suspension and kind of like loop it around so that way i have the you know um, extra space to work with you're gonna have to remove the um the plastic cap that on here and um i just went to uh autozone and uh, get some uh a brake cleaner so i'm just gonna clean this real quick you see how it's pretty dirty All right, um, here, um, here is the, the, the locking pin that you have to remove before you can get the, uh, the pass out. Um, I suggest, um, you take a picture to kind of like, you know, have an idea what go where. So that way you don't, you know, confuse or make a mistake on this. Okay, and uh, we'll just uh, I'm gonna remove the the pin right here, real quick. Just pop it out. Same thing over here. Pull it right out, and then just take the pin out. And the pet will fall off. Wow, it's time for me to get the new pet. It's almost, <laughs> it's almost metal to metal. <laughs> uh, good time, good time. I caught it. Alrighty. Uh, before you uh, do anything, just uh, go ahead and clean all this real quick. What I do is uh, I have the uh, tool brush here. I'm gonna clean the piston real quick. Uh, 
right, uh, you can see here, I already got some uh, reeds in here all the way around. Make sure uh, it doesn't get stuck. So uh, right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to open up the, uh, the piston. So I don't have the, the right tool for this. So I'm just gonna use my uh, screwdriver and the old brake pad. Uh, as you can see here that um, I already uh, pushed out, um, push all the piston uh, out and flush with the uh, the metal here. Um, I already put it back on the, on the bracket, and now uh, we're gonna put the uh, the brake pass on and uh, put the pin back on and uh, tighten everything up. All right, before you put the uh, the brake uh, pass back on. Make sure you take out the uh, the metal piece that on the old pads, and then uh, there is an uh, arrow right here, and on the other side of the other pads as well. Uh, make sure that arrow is facing the engine. Okay. Um, forgot the. Uh, you see, I put some breeze on here. So that way it doesn't, you know, uh, sticking. Now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, the the spring back on there. Then uh, we're gonna put the pin back on. Make sure you put some uh, some breeze on the uh, on the pin as well. All right, I already got one pin in, and uh, it will be easy if you put one in at a time. Alright, I already got the pin uh, back on there. Now we're just gonna put the uh, the lock in. Alright, um, as you can see here, um, I already got everything uh, back in place. Um, the next thing you want to do is to uh, tighten down all the uh, bowl and nut. Um, uh, make sure um, you check on the brakes uh, before you take your bikes out. Um, so uh, what going to happen is um, you're going to hear something, you know, like um, like a pet, you know, um, touching the, the, the disc. So don't worry about that. The, the brake need um, time to uh, break in as well. So after uh, it broke in, it should be um, level and uh, even out. So um, I um, I wouldn't take it out and uh, ride it hard and uh, test it. You know, just uh, ride normal for like you know a um, couple hundred miles. Uh, make sure the uh, the brake pass uh, broken and uh, and uh, over here. Don't forget to uh, tighten this in. That's the most important thing right there. Um, so um, I hope you like the, the video and uh, hope the video is uh, helpful for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please uh, do it now. And um, you can go ahead and uh, check out my other video about my uh, VMAX.
and um, the next video um, I still have a lot of things you know that I haven't done on this bike so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleed out the uh, the, the brake flute um, with the um, the old school uh, uh, style not like you know um, the one with the pump that I uh, did in the last video and um, uh, please uh, give it um, a thumb up and um, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching Bye-bye.